It's a little things. Woke up to the alarm. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Reese. I'm back. Yes, and I'm here to say to you once again make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you check out our website as well, tmtv.world. Comment. Let us know what you think. All right. Stop just double tapping and snoozing and creeping and stuff. We want to see what's up. All right. But in the meantime, between time, let's get to business. I got hard in the paint, music in the building. What's going on, baby? Man, how you doing? I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing all right. How you doing, man? I'm doing, I'm doing good. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now you a blog site, man. You gotta know your bloggers. Y'all gotta know your bloggers. You trying to put music out there? You gotta know the blog sites that put your music on. Talk to us, man. What you got going on with Hard in the Paint, man? man? Lindsey Gamble here. Um, like you said, I got Hard in the Paint mm -hmm. music blog. Well, hitpmusic.com. Mm -hmm. um, blog site, music website, platform, whatever. Right. A little bit of everything, but uh, it's something I've been running for like the last four years. Right, right. Just kind of started out a passion for writing and music and right. um, really trying to provide a platform for some of the dudes that right. I was surrounded that were doing music. Right. Um, and over the years, it just kind of evolved into something else. You know, we started just posting music, mm -hmm. started doing interviews like what you guys do. Right, right. Now. I've seen um, a lot of interviews. Yeah, yeah, covering there. events, um, working with artists, artists, and just really, I think, you know, developed as one of the, you know, go through sites right. in Boston. Right, that's what's up. That's what's up. Now, you've, you've seen, you know, you've definitely seen a lot of the stages yeah. in Boston. Um, what, what do you think about the scene that's going on right now? You know, what do you think is. Is the positive? What do you think is the negative? What do you think is pushing us forward, basically? For sure, man. That's always a question I, I like to ask people. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's dope to finally be able to talk about it. Uh, of course, I'm still doing what I'm doing as far right. as the blogging. So right. I, I love the hip-hop scene. Uh, it's definitely than, it's better than it's ever, ever been. Oh, yes. That's sure. a fact. I mean, we got, we got artists, of course. We got artists getting national public, uh, you know, public um, publications <laughs> yep. and you know, write up tours. Yeah, everything, exactly. Everything. And that's something when I first got into the scene, like I said, four years ago. That's something that wasn't so common. Like right. you know, guys like Terminology and Ed OG exactly. and um, Acrobatic and other guys like that were like the you know, those were kind of like the, the main, the main guys. And even with that being said, that's you know, I didn't even know the extent of their careers. Right. So right. you know, just diving into the the scene over the years, we mm -hmm. see you know, I've been able to see like artists. Like uh, you know, even uh, you know, Christmas from his first yes, original yes, project yes, before yes. is this art. Um, seeing guys like God, yes, yes. Trout James, um, just er everyone, even even Stiz. So I've yeah. been able to see oh, a lot yeah. of these guys develop over the years, and then of course, you know, along there's a whole other batch of artists that right. are really, um, you know, you know, making us proud. Right. Um, so definitely, I think that you know, we have talent. We have we have a lot of the business, you know. Behind the artists, you know, mm -hmm. there's some good management teams. Right. Um, but as far as the con, I also think that can be something that we worked on, just getting right. more, more publications, more platforms, and more um, teams surrounding the artists. Yes, we need the in infrastructure. Yeah, you know, exactly. I, I created a museum says it all the time. You know, the city is lacking in infrastructure, and right now that foundation is being built. Yeah. You know, because you have, you know, hard in the paint music blogs. You got the museum. You got. Um, Fritz and um and DJ Papa Don when they release um Light Turner, you got CTTC Radio, you got all these outlets and all these places for people to be heard, you know. So and we, we have we're building that infrastructure. You got the Six View Studio out there in uh, Milton or Stowe in uh, Canton. I forgot the city that it's in, but you know we're, we're we're building those infrastructures right now because now people have a place to go. Yeah. Now that leads goes to my next question. You know, if you got an artist that has hot music, how can they go about uh, getting on your blog? Is there a list of things to do? You know, how can I, I mean, to that. be honest, like, uh, that's one thing, like, even, like, being on the artist management side, like, I managed Latrell James, I've right. managed um, a couple other people in the past, but, like, I know both the both sides of being a blogger and right. kind of being an artist manager and, right. like, PR person, so I know the frustrations it comes yeah, with. Yeah. For me, I'm not the hardest person to get in touch with. Like, you can ask, for the most part, any artist I dealt with in Boston, like, right. it's just a matter of, you know, either being professional, mm -hmm. you know, sending the email, you know, kind of, you know, give me, if I don't know about you, give me some background, right. send the song, right. like, Kind of give me an idea what you're going. Give me something to go off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get a lot of emails from all over the world from artists. Just send them a link, like check me yeah. out. And it's like and that I, does yeah, nothing yeah. for me. No, like, it does nothing <laughs> for me. And plus, like I, I work a regular job. Like yeah. most people involved, yeah. you know, in the scene. Um, and it's like you know, just you know, being professional. But even like when I go to events, like mm -hmm. I appreciate people into you know meeting people. Right. The thing is like you know you get behind the emails just a name, but when I actually yeah. meet these artists, like these artists that I might have not supported in the past, but when I meet to meet them and have it's a totally conversation at an event, I'll be more out to check out the music. Exactly. It's like you know, face to face interactions are the best thing. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Now the plug. What's going on with that? Man, it's just a it's a new hip hop showcase that we launched uh, in July. 
Okay. Thank you for coming out, man. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no, look. I had to come through there. I had to come through there, man. I had to come through there. You know, but I'm, I'm excited about it because that's one thing, you know, just being a blog, well, you know, being a blog, we want to take things to the next level as yes. far as, you know, beyond the interviews, mm -hmm. beyond the posts, and beyond, like, the, you know, you know, the, the, the digital right, content. Right. We want to really provide another platform. Right, and, right. you know, a showcase. You know, there's all this shows here um, in, in Boston, but, you know, some of them have... Things that I particularly don't like, mm -hmm. you know, the pay to play, yes, yes. the lineups being the same all the time, the, you know, the 20, tw yeah, 20 <laughs> openings. So the yeah. plug is pretty much, it's just uh, the, the inspiration came behind it to be what, you know, so it's, it's, it's not just me, it's me, uh, right. Eric Burnson, Latrell James, and Jess Richards. Okay. So we all play a role. It's like our whole, it's like our baby. We're all doing different parts of it. But pretty much the show is, we take all things we don't like about other shows mm -hmm. and put into the show. So we have smaller lineups. So we have, mm -hmm. you know, four, four, four so guys. That's it, that, and, and yeah. it was all quality. Yeah, That's exactly. The about it, you know? yep. yeah, and yeah. live performances are, are the main thing. Like, yeah. it's not even about how big an artist is. Mm -hmm. um, we want to have great live performances, a, a great um, lineup that features sim a similar sound. Mm -hmm. um, and then have artists that typically aren't on every bill. That's right. why we brought in a guy like Jared Walker. Yes, yes. Uh, John Hope. But yep. overall, like, we want to bridge the talent that we have in Boston and connect them with out of state rising talent. Yes, yes. So that's right like right there. That's a guy from Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's actually in New York, but he's a, yeah. he's a dude that's I mean, he's worked with Chance, yeah. Cardo, so it's like a legit, you know, legit dude. That's what's and now this upcoming lineup we got Merck, Hill Holler, mm -hmm. uh Tayshawn Taylor and um Session. Hey, T Taylor, he's, he's yeah. Session. Yeah, big man, yeah. he's big out there low, yep, man. Yep, they, I, just, I just met him in yeah, person for Yeah, that's dope, that's dope. That's what's up, man. Yeah, we, we got that September twenty fourth. So yeah, man. We really, we out. really respect that, man. And we, 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 always respect people that are helping the culture, helping you know the city. Because yeah. it's not even if it's just one person, it it puts a flashlight on, on everyone. You yeah. know, it's like you don't have to be that one to actually put the city there, but we're helping. You know, so I definitely respect that. Now. What do you have coming up? So you have the plug that you yep. that you premiered. Now what else do you have? Um, so up yep. the along with the plug, we have, so we're gonna try to expand that to like a speaker series as okay. well. So right now I'm working. Uh, I don't wanna give out any any names, but yeah, I'm working yeah. with bringing a, a you know a prominent name in the industry as far as like you know artist development manager, mm -hmm. and right. I'm so working with him to bring him here and. Uh, October, so hopefully, hopefully that goes well. I just wanna, I just feel like it, it, you know, going back to your question earlier about like what's wrong with the scene, right. not what's wrong, but what could be improved, right. just knowledge. Right. And uh, so I want to bring someone that I I uh, look up to in a sense from his online presence and what he's done in the past, and bring him to the city to talk to artists and you know other you know even people like yourselves, yeah. like interviewers and yeah. people that are just involved in the culture. So we got that. Um, you know, we're always trying to bang out content yes. and, you know, our, you know, Boston hip hop focus, right. um, you know, editorial stuff. I think people appreciate that, even Definitely. though, you know, it comes with the people feeling like they're left off. And yeah, but it's, 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 it's like, it no, it work yeah, yeah. no it work publications hard. are really doing that. Exactly. And I think it's important to always, you know, expand, but stay focused on what the initial goal was. That's and that dope. was to, you know, showcase and highlight Boston. Talent. That's dope. That's dope. Now, how can everybody keep up with Lindsay and Hart? Word, word. I mean, of course, check the site out, hitpmusic.com. Mm -hmm. um, as far as, uh, you know, following the site and everything else, you know, we're just HITP Music mm -hmm. on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, if you're interested on, um, you know, me tweeting about music, Gucci yep. Man, sports, <laughs> <laughs> and a bunch of other random stuff, I uh, check me out, Lindsay Gamble underscore mm -hmm. on Twitter. Instagram and that's L I N D S E Y G A N B L E underscore. Look, get with him. You know what it is, man. We got down to business. Yeah. Lindsay from Haunted the Pink Music Blog. It's your boy Reese. We're in the museum. It's a new Boston thing. Remember that. Also, too, before I go, this is another example of if you work with consistency and provide quality work, they can't deny this though. Alright? So, remember that. Stay tuned. Keep it locked. The museum. Ah! It's a little things Woke up to the unknown Guess I gotta sing to another day Let's make this shit a better day, yeah It's a little things, oh It's a little things, oh It's a little things